Imagine this. The world is quiet, the streets are empty, and while many are still in the embrace of sleep, there's a magical moment that awaits the early riser. This moment, the early morning, is a gift, a treasure trove of potential and peace that many overlook. You see, the early hours of the day hold a secret power, a power that, when harnessed, can transform the trajectory of your entire day. In these precious early moments, when the sun has just started to peek over the horizon, there's a stillness, a clarity that you won't find at any other time. It's a time for reflection, for planning, and for setting the tone for the hours to come. There's a reason why they say the early bird catches the worm. It's not just about being awake, it's about being ahead. When you rise before the rest of the world, you're not just waking up, you're awakening to new possibilities. Now some might say, but sleep is sweet and my bed is warm. Yes, it is. But while comfort is tempting, it often leads to missed opportunity. Waking up early is not just about sacrificing a few extra hours of sleep. It's about investing in yourself. It's about giving yourself the chance to take charge of your day rather than letting the day take charge of you. When you start your day early, you gain something invaluable. Time, time to think, time to plan, time to savor the quiet before the hustle and bustle of life begins. This time allows you to set your intentions, to visualize your day, to map out your goals. This is not just about getting things done. It's about setting the stage for excellence, for productivity, for success. The early morning is also a time for personal growth. It's a time you can dedicate to improving yourself, be it through reading, exercise, meditation, or simply planning your day with intention. It's a time when you can focus on personal development without the distractions that come later in the day. This isn't about filling every minute with activity. It's about taking the time to do things that nourish your mind, body, and soul. Think of the early morning as a canvas. A blank canvas on which you have the first chance to paint. What you choose to do with this time sets the color and tone for the rest of your day. Do you paint it with productivity, with peace, with planning? Or do you let it remain blank, unused, a missed opportunity? Each day is a new beginning a new chance to do something wonderful. And it all starts with the decision to wake up early, to embrace the morning, and to start your day right. This simple act, repeated day after day, becomes more than a routine. It becomes a stepping stone to achieving your goals and realizing your potential. So as the dawn breaks, ask yourself, what will you do with this precious time? The choice is yours, and it starts the moment. You open your eyes to a new day. As we embrace the early hours, as we open our eyes to the new light of day, it's essential to understand the philosophy behind rising early. It's more than just a habit. It's a mindset, a way of life that can lead to unparalleled success and fulfillment. Think about it. The decision to rise early is a decision to take control. It's a silent declaration that you won't let the day dictate your actions, but rather you will dictate the day. It's about asserting your presence in a world that's fast asleep, about claiming your right to the peace and potential that the early morning holds. This philosophy is rooted in discipline. Discipline, not in the harsh, restrictive sense, but as a form of self-love and self-respect. It's about recognizing that every day is a precious gift and to waste it would be an injustice to the potential that lies within you. Rising early is a commitment, a commitment to yourself and to your goals. It's a commitment that says, I value my time and I will use it wisely. But it's not just about discipline. It's also about peace. In the early morning when the world is yet to stir, there's a tranquility that you can't find at any other time. This piece is vital. It allows you to think clearly, to plan without distraction, to breathe deeply and prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for the day ahead. In these quiet moments, you're not just planning your day, you're aligning your mind and soul with what you want to achieve. 
And then there's the magic of solitude. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy to lose yourself in the crowd, to forget your own voice, your own needs, your own aspirations. The early morning offers a rare solitude where you can reconnect with yourself. It's a time to reflect on your journey, to dream big, to set intentions that resonate with your deepest values and ambitions. This philosophy of rising early is also about momentum. By starting your day with purpose and intention, you set a powerful tone for the hours that follow. Each task you complete, each goal you work towards in these early hours builds momentum for the rest of the day. It's like pushing a snowball down a hill. As it rolls, it gathers size and speed, unstoppable in its progress. And not forget about the ripple effect. When you start your day positively, that positivity spreads. It touches every task you undertake, every person you interact with. It's contagious, inspiring not just you, but those around you. You become a beacon of productivity and positivity, an example of what it means to live each day to its fullest. However, let's be clear. Waking up early is not a magic pill. It doesn't guarantee success. What it does is give you the time and space to work towards success. It gives you the opportunity to craft a day that reflects your goals and aspirations. It's about giving yourself the best possible start, a foundation upon which you can build a day, a week, a life of purpose and achievement. This philosophy is not about overwhelming yourself. It's about balance. Waking up early doesn't mean depriving yourself of rest. It means respecting your body's need for sleep and finding a rhythm that allows you to wake up refreshed and ready. It's about understanding that rest and activity are two sides of the same coin, both essential to your well-being and success. In the end, the philosophy of rising early is about empowerment. It's about taking charge of your life one morning at a time. It's about understanding that each day is a new opportunity, a blank page on which you can write your own story. A story of growth, of resilience, of triumph. Think of each morning as a new beginning, a fresh start. Embrace the discipline, the peace, the solitude. Let these early hours be your time to shine, to plan, to grow. Let them be the foundation upon which you build your dreams and aspirations. And remember, each day is a step in your journey. A journey that begins with a simple act of waking up early, ready to seize the day with both hands. The philosophy of rising early, embracing the discipline, the peace, and the empowerment it brings. It's crucial to look at the rituals of those who've harnessed this power to its fullest. Successful people, those who have made a mark in their fields, understand the value of a morning ritual. These rituals, simple yet profound, are like threads in the fabric of their daily lives, weaving a pattern of success and fulfillment. Take a moment to reflect on these rituals, to understand how they can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. It's not about copying someone else's routine, but about finding what resonates with you, what aligns with your goals and aspirations. One of the most common rituals among successful people is that they start their day with purpose. They don't just wake up, they wake up with a clear plan. This might mean different things to different people. For some, it's a to-do list. For others, it's a quiet moment of reflection on what they want to achieve that day. But the underlying principle remains the same. Starting the day with a clear, focused mind. Another ritual is exercise. Many successful people swear by starting their day with physical activity. It's not just about keeping the body fit. It's about clearing the mind, energizing the spirit, and building a sense of discipline and achievement that carries through the day. Whether it's a brisk walk, a session at the gym, or simple stretches, the key is to get the body moving to wake up both body and mind. Then there's the ritual of learning. Successful people often use their mornings to educate themselves.
This could be reading, listening to podcasts, or even watching educational videos. The idea is to start the day by feeding the mind, by learning something new, something that challenges you, something that inspires you. It's about keeping the mind sharp and curious, always ready to grow. Another important ritual is that of gratitude and visualization. Many successful people take a few moments each morning to reflect on what they are grateful for and to visualize their goals. This practice is not just about positive thinking. It's about setting the tone for a day of appreciation and focused ambition. It's about aligning your emotional and mental state with your deepest values and intentions. Nutrition is also a key part of many successful people's morning rituals. They understand that the food they eat in the morning sets the stage for their energy levels and focus throughout the day. A healthy, balanced breakfast can be the difference between a sluggish morning and a day filled with vitality. Now, it's important to understand that these rituals are not about rigid schedules or overwhelming yourself with tasks. It's about creating a morning that prepares you for success in whatever way that means for you. It's about finding what works for you, what makes you feel ready to take on the day with enthusiasm and confidence. And not forget the power of simplicity in these rituals. Success is often found in the small, consistent actions we take every day. It's not always about grand gestures or massive changes. Sometimes it's the simple act of waking up a bit earlier to enjoy a quiet cup of coffee in peace, or taking 10 minutes to jot down your thoughts and priorities. These rituals, while they may seem small in the moment, accumulate over time. They become the habits that shape your days, your weeks, your years. They become the cornerstone of a life lived with purpose and intention. Take inspiration from these rituals. Let's understand that success is not just about what we do in our most productive moments, but also about what we do in those quiet morning hours when the world is still asleep. It's about using this time to set ourselves up for a day of success, a day of purpose, a day of growth. Each morning is an opportunity, a chance to build the life you want, one day at a time. And it starts with the rituals you choose to incorporate into your morning, the rituals that prepare you to seize the day and make the most of every moment. So think about what rituals might work for you, what might set the stage for a day of achievement and fulfillment. The power is in your hands, and it all starts with the simple act of rising early and embracing the morning. In the journey of life, where success and achievement are often the loudest markers of progress, there is an underestimated power in the quiet, the power of silence and solitude. As we've explored the rituals of successful people, how they start their day with purpose, exercise, learning, and gratitude, there is yet another element that threads through their morning. It's a serene embrace of silence and solitude. In the hush of the early morning, when the world has yet to awaken, there lies a sanctuary of peace and clarity. It is in these moments of solitude that we find the space to listen to our deepest thoughts, to confront our innermost fears and desires, and to truly connect with who we are. Silence in its purest form is not just the absence of noise, it's the presence of an opportunity to think, reflect, and be. In the quiet of the dawn, away from the distractions of the day, our minds can wander freely, exploring ideas and solutions that elude us in the chaos of noise. This silence is a fertile ground for creativity, where the seeds of great ideas can sprout and grow. Solitude, too, is often misunderstood. It's not about loneliness or isolation. It's about giving yourself the gift of undisturbed time. It's about being with yourself, truly with yourself, in a way that the constant company of others doesn't allow. In these moments of solitude, you have the chance to align your actions with your values, to ensure that the path you're walking is the one you've chosen for yourself. In the hustle of everyday life, finding time for silence and solitude might seem like a luxury, but it's a necessity for those who aspire to lead a life of purpose and fulfillment, it's in these quiet moments that you can step back and view your life 
with perspective where you can see the forest, not just the trees. It's where you can recalibrate, refocus, and recharge. Think of it this way. A bowstring can only shoot an arrow forward when it's pulled back. Similarly, we can only propel ourselves forward in life when we take the time to pull back into our own space of silence and solitude. This is where we gather our strength, our thoughts, and our energy. In these early hours of solitude, it's also an opportunity to practice mindfulness and meditation. These practices are not just about relaxation. They are about gaining a deeper understanding of your own mind. They teach you to observe your thoughts without judgment, to understand your reactions, and to develop a deeper sense of self-awareness. But how do you harness this power? It starts with making a conscious choice to carve out time in your morning for silence and solitude. It's about creating a sacred space and time where you can be alone with your thoughts, where you can listen to the quiet voice inside you that guides you towards your true path. In these moments of solitude, ask yourself the important question. What are my goals? What brings me joy? What am I grateful for? What challenges am I facing and how can I overcome them? The answers you find in the quiet are often the ones that have the power to change your life. And harnessing the power of silence and solitude is not about escaping from the world. It's about preparing yourself to engage with the world in a more meaningful, intentional way. It's about building a foundation of peace and clarity that you carry with you throughout the day. Yeah, take the time to embrace the silence and solitude of the early morning. Let it be your sanctuary, your time to reconnect with yourself and your dreams. It's in these quiet moments that the whispers of your heart are heard most clearly, guiding you towards a life of purpose, fulfillment, and true success. In the tranquility of solitude and the peace of silence lies the strength to face the noise and chaos of the world with grace, poise, and resilience. So, rise early, seek the quiet, and find your strength in the serene embrace of the morning's hush. In the serene embrace of the morning's hush, where we have reflected, found clarity, and reconnected with our inner selves, lies the perfect opportunity to engage in two of the most powerful practices for success, planning and visualization. These practices are not just tools. They are the engines that drive us towards our dreams. Planning, in its essence, is the art of charting a course. It's about taking those grand dreams and breaking them down into achievable steps. It's not enough to have a dream. A dream without a plan is like a ship without a rudder. Planning is about taking control of that ship, steering it in the direction of your dreams. Each morning, take some time to plan your day. This isn't just about scheduling tasks or appointments. It's about aligning your daily actions with your long-term goals. Ask yourself, what can I do today that will bring me closer to my goals? It could be something small, even the smallest step forward is progress, but it's crucial to make these steps consistent. Success is not built on grand, once-in-a-lifetime actions. It's built on small, consistent, daily actions that stack up over time. But planning is not just about the actions you'll take. It's also about the person you'll become. Think about the qualities and skills you need to achieve your goals. Do you need to be more disciplined, more knowledgeable, more creative, plan to develop these qualities? Set aside time for self-improvement, for learning, for growth. And then there's visualization, a tool as powerful as planning, yet often overlooked. Visualization is not just daydreaming. It's a focused, purposeful exercise where you vividly imagine achieving your goals. It's about creating a clear, detailed mental image of your success. Why is visualization so powerful? Because the mind often can't tell the difference between a vividly imagined experience and a real one. By visualizing your success, you're training your mind to believe in its possibility. You're building the confidence and the mindset you need to achieve your goals. Each morning, take a few moments to close your eyes and visualize your success. See yourself achieving your goals. Imagine how it feels, what it looks like, what you hear and say, 
the more detailed your visualization, the more powerful it will be. This exercise is about embedding the image of success so deeply in your mind that it becomes... Visualization is not a substitute for action. It's a complement to it. You visualize to prepare your mind, and then you go out and make it happen. Visualization fuels your motivation, keeps your focus sharp, and builds the resilience you need to overcome challenges. And as you plan and visualize, remember to be flexible. Life is unpredictable and things won't always go as planned. That's okay. Flexibility is not about abandoning your plan. It's about adapting it to the ever-changing circumstances of life. It's about being resilient in the face of obstacles, about finding new ways to move forward. The power of planning and visualization, let them be the tools that guide you from the quiet of the morning into the hustle of the day. Let them turn your dreams into goals, your goals into plans, and your plans into reality. And always remember, the journey towards your dreams is not always straight or smooth. There will be bumps and turns, ups and downs. But with a solid plan and a clear vision, you have everything you need to navigate this journey. So plan with purpose, visualize with clarity, and step forward with confidence. Your dreams are waiting, and every morning is a new opportunity to move closer to them. A journey where planning and visualization have become our guides. There is a challenge that many face, the challenge of waking up early. It's a hurdle that many of us stumble over, a barrier that often seems too high to scale. Yet overcoming this challenge is crucial for harnessing the full potential of our mornings. First and foremost, Understand that waking up early is a habit, and like any habit, it takes time to develop. It's not about sudden, drastic changes. It's about small, incremental steps that lead to a significant transformation over time. Start by waking up just a few minutes earlier than usual, and gradually increase this time. This gradual approach helps your body and mind adjust without the shock of a sudden change. Another common challenge is the lure of the late night, be it for work, entertainment, or socializing. To rise early, you must first learn to go to bed early. This requires discipline, but more than that, it requires understanding the value of rest. Sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. By respecting your body's need for rest, you align your habits with your body's natural rhythms. Create an evening routine that signals to your body that it's time to wind down. This might include reading, meditating, or simply reflecting on the day. Avoid stimulating activities before bed, such as watching TV or browsing the internet. These activities keep your mind active, making it harder to fall asleep. Your sleeping environment also plays a crucial role. Make your bedroom a sanctuary for sleep. Keep it dark, quiet, and cool. Invest in a comfortable mattress and pillows. The quality of your sleep is just as important as the quantity. Talk about the morning. One of the biggest challenges to waking up early is the immediate desire to go back to sleep. To overcome this, create a morning routine that you look forward to. This could be a delicious cup of coffee, a few minutes of stretching, or a walk in the fresh morning air. When you have something to look forward to, Getting out of bed becomes less of a chore and more of a pleasure. Also, be mindful of the role of technology in your sleep habits. The blue light emitted by screens can disrupt your sleep cycle. So, make it a habit to put away electronic devices at least an hour before bedtime. Instead, use this time for more calming activities that prepare your mind for sleep. Another key aspect is understanding your why. Why do you want to wake up early? Is it to have more time for yourself, to work on a project, or simply to enjoy the peace of the morning? Your, why is your motivation? And on days when getting out of bed feels impossible, it's this motivation that will propel you forward. Change is not easy. There will be days when you fail, days when the warmth of your bed is too tempting. On these days, be kind to yourself. Understand that failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of the journey to success. Learn from these moments and use them to strengthen your resolve. 
Celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Waking up even five minutes earlier is a step in the right direction. Celebrate these small wins. They are the markers of your progress, the signs that you are moving towards your goal. That overcoming the challenge of waking up early is not just about changing a habit. It's about changing a mindset. It's about embracing a lifestyle that values the early hours, that sees the morning as a time of opportunity and potential. Just patience, discipline, and a clear understanding of your why. You transform the challenge of waking up early into a triumph, a triumph that sets the tone for a day of purpose, achievement, and success. As we journey through the challenges and triumphs of waking up early, embracing the morning with purpose and resolve, we begin to see a remarkable phenomenon unfold, the ripple effect of a good start. This concept is simple yet profound. How you start your day sets the tone for everything that follows. It's like throwing a stone into a pond. The ripples spread far and wide, touching everything in their path. Imagine your day as a blank canvas. Each morning you have the opportunity to paint this canvas with the colors of productivity, positivity, and purpose. When you start your day right, with a clear mind and a focused intention, you bring these colors to life. This positive start acts like the first stroke of a brush, setting the stage for a masterpiece of a day. The ripple effect of a good start is evident in so many aspects of our lives. It's in the way our morning discipline strengthens our willpower, making us more resilient to challenges throughout the day. It's in the way our morning calmness allows us to approach situations with a level head and a clear mind. It's in the way our morning productivity fuels our confidence, showing us what we're capable of achieving. Take, for instance, the simple act of making your bed each morning. This small task, taking just a few minutes, sets a tone of accomplishment. It's a signal to yourself that you're starting the day with a win, no matter how small. And as this habit becomes ingrained, it spills over into other areas of your life, creating a cascade of productivity and achievement. Moreover, the ripple effect extends beyond ourselves. It touches the people around us. When we start our day with a positive attitude, we radiate that positivity. We become more patient, more compassionate, more present. Our interactions with others become more meaningful and uplifting we become not just participants in our own lives, but contributors to the lives of those around us. The ripple effect works both ways. Just as a positive start can lead to a day filled with accomplishment and joy, a negative start can lead us down a path of frustration and setback. That's why it's so crucial to guard our mornings, to make them a sanctuary of positivity and purpose. You think of each morning as the first ripple in the pond of your day. Make it a good one. Let it be a ripple of positivity, of intention, of purpose. And watch as the effects spread, touching every aspect of your day, shaping your interactions, your work, your relationships. Reflecting on the power of mornings, the importance of discipline, and the transformative effect of starting each day with intention. We stand at the threshold of a new beginning. The journey ahead, filled with potential and promise, is ours to embark upon. Each morning is not just the start of a new day. It's the start of a new opportunity, an opportunity to grow, to learn, to improve, and to move one step closer to our goals and dreams. The practices we've discussed, rising early, embracing solitude, planning, visualizing, overcoming challenges, and understanding the ripple effect of a good start are more than just actions. They are a philosophy, a way of living that elevates every aspect of our lives. Care with you the lessons of the morning. Let them be your guide as you navigate the complexities of life. Embrace each day with the same enthusiasm and purpose as you do the early hours. Remember that the way you start your day sets the tone for how you live your day. And above all, hold on to the belief that you have the power to shape your life. Your actions, your choices, your habits, they define who you are and who you become. The journey ahead is yours to craft. It's a journey of discovery, of achievement, 
of relentless pursuit of your dreams. So rise with the dawn. Greet each day with open arms. Embrace the journey ahead with courage, with determination, with optimism. The path to your dreams lies before you, and it all starts with the simple act of waking up early, ready to face the day, ready to make the most of every moment. Go forward with confidence, with hope, and with the knowledge that each new day is a gift, a precious opportunity to move closer to the life you envision. The journey ahead is bright, and it begins now.